Okay, so let's go to a website run by the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. And they've got this lovely little applet here that we can use to get some idea of how uh, least squares works. In particular, what I'd like to show you is that least squares can be very sensitive to one or two points. And since we saw that the least squares line is also intimately related with the correlation coefficient, uh, this will reinforce the statement that I made last week that the correlation coefficient is also sensitive to outliers. So here's what we do. We go and we plonk down some points. Okay, so here's here's a few points. So, so here there's what, two, four, five, there's another point, okay? And then you can say show the line. So this line is the least squares line through those five points. And we see that it's almost a perfect fit. R is equal to one with an intercept of 4.1 and a slope of 1.36. Now the question to ask is what happens if a point or two uh, gets shifted around? Well, if we go here and we shift this point around, move it to there, look at that. It didn't have much impact. The, inter the slope is still 1.34, the r is 0.99. So it didn't do much. Move this one a little bit, move, move the center ones a little bit and nothing much happens. This one the line started moving a little bit, but we're still at 0.98. Now, what happens, on the other hand, if we choose one of the extreme points? And this is when we're going to start worrying and we start seeing things happen, especially if we move it. Um, look at this. It's dragging the line with it. So if we move it radically, so for example, if we move it all the way down here, then look at that the correlation coefficient now is minus 0.27. So it's gone from very high positive to negative. And things get worse if I also move this one. Uh, so all of a sudden, we get a completely different picture of what's going on. So we're at minus 0.64. And you might say, oh, well, look, you moved two of the five. So uh, you'd expect this to happen. Well, okay, what happens if we add some points along the original, add some more points along the original line, and look at this, it's not having a tremendous effect. Yeah, it's having some effect, but look at that. So here we've got 17 points. So now two of the 17 are way off, but the other 15 of the 17 don't have enough influence to carry the day. So we can carry on like this if you want and look at what it's going to take to shift the line around. It's going to take quite a bit to bring the line around. It's still only a quarter of the way there. We're still at only 0.24. Still, just these two points, these two extreme points, carry a lot of influence. So that's the moral of this story. Now, what I want you to do is I would like for you to do this by yourself. The instructions are down here, and you can see how to do it. It's very easy. And there's the website down there, too. All right. Now, while you're here, you can also, let's clear this, we can also revisit that statement that I'd said to you was, remember if you had the V-shaped, if you have Y is equal to the absolute value of X, and I said, oh, look, that's probably going to give you like a correlation of zero. Well, let's try that and see what happens when we fit a line here. Look at that, 0.05. So that bears out that statement that I made last week with a correlation coefficient. And in fact, if we also look at the, remember we looked at the fatal automobile accidents and how many, what percentage had an alcohol content above 0.08. So we had age along the horizontal, and then we had the percentages on the vertical. And uh, once again, there it is. The correlation coefficient is equal to uh, 0.00. .00. I, this is a little bit more extreme, 
than what we had before but you get the idea so go there and uh, try this for yourself and you'll get a little better feel for how the least squares line uh, works we could have stuck with what Boscovich did and but that's for the next course uh, the way you will learn about mean absolute deviations or median regression or L1 regression it's called there are more robust ways of doing this but go ahead and uh, enjoy yourselves